Good evening. I'm Jody Rudd from St. Matthew's United Methodist Church here in Bowie, Maryland. I'm doing the second half of the book that I started last night with, with you. It's called Alphitudes, The Alphabet of Gratitude by Michelle Walder. The book is structured so that there's a word given, a quote that might be by somebody famous or not, a statement, an I am statement, like the one for ten, first one tonight, I am grateful for music. Then there's a reflection about the word and how it connects or is used in our lives. Then there's a positive affirmation statement and then a short prayer. Because of time restraints, I will be saying the word, reading the quote, and the positive affirmation statement, and the prayer. So let's begin. M for music. Music heals the heart and makes it whole, flows from heaven to the soul. Unknown. I attune myself to the melodious and rhythmic sounds in my day. I listen to inspirational music that feeds my soul and uplifts my spirit. I rejoice in the beauty of music. Prayer of music. Guide me in choosing music that resonates with the needs of my soul. Help me to cherish the delightful melodies that fill our world. Thank you for be blessing me with the pre precious pleasure of music. Now. There was never a time when your life was not now, nor will there ever be, by Eckhart Tolle. I live fully in the now. I embrace the sacredness of each and every precious moment. I now choose to be keenly aware of and fascinated by life. Prayer of now. Awaken my ability to be completely present in each moment. Remove any illusions that prevent me from being where my feet are planted right now. Thank you for the divine presence in every moment of my life. Obstacles. I am not afraid of storms, for I am learning to sail my ship. By Louisa May Alcott. I embrace the obstacles in my life with courage, integrity, and strength. I choose to see obstacles as opportunities to grow into the best person I can be. I tap into the infinite wisdom of the universe to reveal optimal solutions. Support me as I confront my fears and move through the obstacles you have lovingly put on my path. Help me to take these life lessons with courage, curiosity, and unwavering faith. Thank you for providing me with obstacles that bring me closer to you. Passion. From the intricate flower blossoms, the fruit of passion. By Tatiana Michaels. I am filled with unbridled passion and certainty of purpose. I enthusiastically take steps to fulfill my soul's callings. I live with exuberance and zest for life. Reveal to me my passion so that I may live with divine inspiration and authentic purpose. Encourage and support me as I discover, engage, and fully enjoy my passions. Thank you for blessing me with an unlimited enthusiasm for life. Quiet. 
Only in quiet waters do things mirror themselves undistorted. Only in a quiet mind is adequate perception of the world. By Hans Margolius. I savor the quiet moments in my day. I lovingly bring attention to my sacred inner life. I choose to devote time to silently be with myself and God. Teach me how to be still and quiet so that I may be restored to wholeness. Breathe into me an inner tranquility that I can carry with me throughout my day. Thank you for calming my mind and bringing quiet comfort into my life. Relationships. If words are the lyrics and laughter the melody, then a relationship becomes a symphony. By Nicholas Spark. I openly and completely love, honor, and cherish myself. I am blessed with inspiring, harmonious, and fun relationships. I now choose to experience loving relationships that uplift and nourish me. Remind me of your faithful presence in all of my relationships. Help me to depend on my connection with you to sustain and comfort me. Thank you for the kind support and encouraging people you have brought into my life. Serendipity. Serendipity is God's way of remaining anonymous by an unknown. I have confidence in the serendipity of the universe. I release my preconceived notions and trust the perfection of divine timing. I see the unexpected and delightful surprises that fill my day. Align my life with your divine timing. Heighten my awareness of the serendipitous miracles that you have sprinkled along my path. Thank you for gracing my life with the magic of serendipity. Touch. To touch someone is to share the spark that is life. By Hansi Nutip Pilzer. I welcome loving touch into my life. I generously and respectfully share the precious gift of touch. I stretch beyond my comfort zone to affectionately touch another. Show me how to graciously give and receive loving touch. Help me to use your gift of touch to heal, encourage, and strengthen. Thank you for the restorative power of church. Understanding. The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding by Leonardo da Vinci. I am an open-minded, compassionate, and understanding person. I celebrate diversity by giving others the same respect, understanding, and appreciation that I want for myself. I am an agent of tolerance and peace in the world. Utilize me as a conduit for your understanding, love, and grace. Help me to humbly release my need to be right as I strive to better understand others. Thank you for illuminating my heart with the light of understanding. Voice. In voicing our truth, we find the depths of our power by Michelle Walder. I use my voice to authentically communicate my soul's inner wisdom and truth. I honor myself by clearly voicing my needs and preferences. 
I allow my voice to be a guardian of my heart and cheerleader for my desires. Make my voice a loving instrument that I can depend on to communicate your all-knowing wisdom and truth. Give me the confidence to courageously express myself for the highest good of all. Thank you for empowering me with a strong, clear voice that will not be silenced. Work. Work and play are words used to describe the same thing under different circumstances by Mark Twain. I accomplish humble work tasks as though they were great and noble. I joyfully express my passions, gifts, and strengths through my life's work. I am proud of how my work positively cont contributes to society. Bless me with work that enlivens my spirit and contributes to the greater good. Help me to experience work as a playful expression of my natural passions and talents. Thank you for guiding me along the path of life's work. X's. The past should be a springboard, not a hammock. By Ivern Ball. I appreciate and cherish the memories, lessons, and gifts of my past. I now free myself of all resentment and anger. I lovingly forgive and release my past relationships and boldly move forward with my life. Help me to be grateful for all my ex-relationships. Guide me as I learn from the valuable lessons each person has brought into my life. Thank you for be bringing perfect relationships into my life for my optimal spiritual growth. Yes, the universal answer is always yes, by Gabriel Fontaine. I am happy healthy and filled with joy. I am alive with creative energy and vitality. I say yes to life. Fill me with uplifting, life-enhancing messages that reflect my highest nature. Help me to proclaim yes to, the, to honoring the magnificence in myself and receiving the best in life. Thank you for the universal yes that shapes my life. Z, sleep. And if tonight my soul may find her peace in sleep and sink in good oblivion and in the morning wake like a new open flower, then I have been dipped again in God and new created by D.H. Lawrence. I easily relax into peaceful sleep, sleep soundly, and awake in the morning feeling rested, refreshed, and rejuvenated. I trust the divine purpose of sleep. Restore and heal me as I sleep. Fill me with the direction and guidance I need for my waking hours. Thank you for, for protective presence as I drift into peaceful dreams. That's the end of the book. Let us pray. Dear God, we come before you this evening to thank you for all that you do for us. We are asking for healing in our lives. Your world is in a tumult right now. Your children are hurting very badly. We all need your love and your strength to help us move forward 
to begin healing ourselves and others. Help us to be solutions to the problems. Guide us and give us the courage to shine your light in the midst of all the darkness. We thank you, we love you, and we praise you. Amen.